So what is Video? At Video, we help ambitious content creators access film gear. We do that by running a gear sharing community where our members safely can rent and rent out gear between each other. So think an Airbnb of professional film gear. How does it work? Uh, it's pretty simple. So as a lender, you can earn some extra cash by renting out your equipment to other creatives while you're not using it. And as a render, you can access gear at affordable prices and with global coverage. How many team members does Video have? Today we have 15 team members and we are growing every year. How many members does Video have in the community? Today we help more than 100,000 monthly guests and have more than 12,000 members. And yeah, also growing, but daily. How many listings can you choose from at Video? Today you can choose as a render from more than 15,000 listings worth more than 25 million pounds. Which business would you compare Weedio to? Um, I would compare it to a similar business like Airbnb. So where's Weedio based? Uh, we're based here in Aarhus, which is a city here in Denmark, but we also have representatives in all our active regions. How do you guys make an impact? We are here to make both social and environmental impact. Social impact because we enable stories that wouldn't have been told otherwise. And environmental impact because we believe in a future where no filmmaker will own a camera. Today there's just way too much gear gathering dust on a shelf and we are here to have a goal of making sure that every piece of equipment is being used 10 times more than it is today. Making sure that gear is used to create stories, not gather dust on a shelf. So where is it available? We are currently available in, uh, mostly in, in the UK and in Denmark, but every day we help renters access gear across the world. Are there any criteria for joining Video? Yeah, we, we welcome all ambitious content creators to join our community. Oh, hi Nico. What else do you guys do other than renting? We also have a learning universe where creators can get knowledge and become better at what they do. And we also offer a subscription service where people can pay monthly to get access to any piece of equipment. Is there a fee to use video? Yes, uh, there is a 10% fee for renters and 20% for lenders. What does video do with the fees? It helps us uh, cover our expenses in terms of uh, verifying people like personal verification and document verification. It also helps us uh, cover if anything happens with the, the equipment and in general operate the business. Does Video have any hidden service fees? No. Is it safe to use Video? Yes, it is safe and uh, safety and trust is our number one priority. And does Video offer delivery? Not at the moment, but some individual lenders do. What if there's no equipment in my area? You can always reach to us, uh, just give us a call and we'll source it for you. Okay, will the equipment be protected if I use video? Yes, all the equipment is protected when you rent through video and uh, it both covers renters and lenders. What is video global coverage? Video global coverage is gear protection for all video members that rent or rent out through video. Do I need to do anything to be covered? You need to do absolutely nothing to be covered. It will be automatically included on each rental. So what equipment can be covered? So basically everything camera related equipment, cameras, lenses, audio equipment, light equipment, even drones actually. So where do you cover? So basically globally, uh, but with a few exceptions. What listings are not covered? So uh, basically everything not camera related equipment, uh, meaning buildings, cars, boats, uh, studios, etc. What situations does Video Global Coverage cover? So, uh, sudden damages, if you drop your equipment or anything else happens to it, uh, voluntary parting, theft, uh, burglary, robbery, assault, uh, fire, storm. Um, uh, but however, we don't cover um, underwater use, uh, with normal wear and tear, and also uh, obviously deals outside of video. What kind of pick up and drop off times are covered by the coverage? So the coverage always starts at 7 p.m. the day before the shoot and ends at 10 a.m. the day after. Am I covered if the renter does not return my gear? Yes, you just need to let us know within 24 hours. How do you file a claim as a lender? 
you need to contact us and we'll send you the uh, form to fill out. Or what happens when the gear is damaged? So usually the lender or the renter contact us and we'll make sure that all parties are involved. And then the lender gets a quote from a service partner on the repair cost or a replacement if it's completely damaged. The lender will be reimbursed in full and the renter will be responsible for 15% of the damage, uh, but a minimum of £285. What's the fee lenders pay? Lenders pay 20% fees. So how does verification work? You give us your personal information, name, phone number, email and address. Then you upload your address documentation, which states your name, address and be no older than three months. And that can be utility bill or bank statement. Then you take a live selfie, you um, upload ID documentation, which depending on your country might be driving license, um, ID or passport, and then you provide us with your social media presence. And how long does the verification take? Up to 24 hours, but 99% of the time it takes way less. And to speed up the process, you can always just give us a call. Will I be notified after I'm verified? Yes, you will receive an email and an SMS. If something's missing from my verification form, how will I know? First, we will always try to give you a call in case you misunderstood something and need guidance. But if we cannot reach you by phone, then we will write you an email or contact you on WhatsApp. Why do I need to get an ID check? Well, there are a lot of creative people out there, but not in a good way. So we need to confirm your identity and keep our platform safe. Uh, just one more question. I know you're busy. Is it difficult to register on Weedio? No, it's just one click away on our website. So, how do I prepare the handout of gear? Double check that your equipment is working as it should, it's tidy and nothing is missing from the packaging. And it's also a really good idea to take pictures and videos of state of your equipment. What should I remember as a lender after I've rented out my gear? Together with the renter, check that returned equipment is working properly and nothing is missing. Okay, am I in control about what happens with my gear? Yes, of course. It's always your decision who to rent out the equipment to, when and for what prices. And can I trust the renter? If the renter is verified, then yes. Thanks. If you have doubts, please just contact us. Do I have to take a picture of the gear? Yes, please take pictures before you hand out your gear. Do I need any documents from the renter? No. Video has all documentation before rental starts. But if it's drones, though, you can ask for a pilot's license. Do I need to have a receipt of the equipment? We need to have some kind of proof of your ownership of the equipment. That's why we ask for receipts or payments of any kind to prove that you actually own the gear. Do I have to hand over the gear to the renter specifically? Or can anyone else just pick it up for them? person that's been verified and send you the request is responsible for the equipment during all the process. Uh, but if they want their friends, colleagues or family members to pick up the equipment, there has to be a written agreement made. How quickly do I get paid? So once you receive the equipment, click that it's been completed and then we will release your funds immediately and you should receive it within one to five working days. Do I have to rent my gear to a renter I don't have a good feeling about? No, you can always decline rental request if you have a bad feeling without any penalization. What if I don't have time to create a listing or a profile? Then we have lead-in program. Oh, what's that? You can sign up for it on video or contact us directly, so we will create your profile and listings and you don't have to spend any time on it. What if the renter doesn't return the gear on time? What does Weedio do? If the renter returns the gear too late or after the agreed time, then they will have to pay for extra days. In cases like this, just contact us. So what's the difference between a private and a company profile? So you interact as a video member either way. Uh, if you are a company and you're vet verified, uh, other members will see that you are a company and we will also make sure that you are vet compliant. Do you guys charge taxes on rentals? Yes, uh, we do. We have to. Uh, we charge ta our taxes on the community fees and make sure that you're also vet compliant on the rental itself. What is a prime member? Prime members are those with an outstanding performance on video, both in terms of number of rentals, but also reviews and uh, feedback that they receive. Wow, how do I become a Prime member? You have to be on the platform for at least six months. You must have your profile completed. 
including your name, picture and description. You must have your verification approved. Also have at least 10 rentals, receive 10 reviews and uh, keep a rating above uh, 4.5. You also must have triggered zero cancellations in the last six months. What are the benefits of becoming a Prime member? Today you receive a badge that shows the other members that you offer an excellent service. Prime renters, they have less frictions when they try to rent expensive equipment. But this is of course only the first step and in future we will expand the list of benefits for our Prime members. Oh hey! Hey! What are Weedio's values? At Weedio we share three major values. We are ambitious, we care and we are trusting. As an example, if you as a member reach out, you don't meet a chatbot, you meet a person who's always ready to help you out. What's Weedio's mission? Weedio is not about gear. As we see it, gear is just a tool that enables what really matters, the stories. And therefore, we are on a mission to keep great stories alive. We achieve this by facilitating the sharing of knowledge, services and tools in order for you as a creator craft better stories. And we don't stop until we are the number one community for ambitious creators. I'd love to know, what makes you call Weedio a community? We call ourselves a community because of three major aspects. First of all, we are focused. We focus on only serving ambitious content creators. And second of all, we educate. We invite the best members to host masterclasses. And thirdly, we are transparent, we don't hide. Uh, we share our members' stories, we share our members' projects, we help each other out. Is Weedio a rental house? No, we are a gear sharing community. Hmm. Does Weedio own any equipment? No, we don't. So how do you pronounce Weedio? And what does Weedio mean? Uh, Weedio, and uh, it's taken from creating videos where it's not just one video, it's us, it's we with the W, the community that together creates video. So we create videos. What benefits do I get for being a Weedio member? You get dedicated member support. You also get easy and affordable access to gear. And then you get to become a part of a creative community where you can learn and be inspired by others. But what are the differences between Weedio and other platforms? We're personal, so we can assist you with your onboarding process into Weedio. We can also help create your listings if you're short on time. And then again, the dedicated member support. We also help educate our members through various articles, videos and masterclasses. And then we're pretty focused on helping ambitious creators within the filmmaking and photography industry. When should I rent instead of buy? When you have a lot of different gear needs for different projects, then we can tailor make each gear package for that specific project that you're doing. Or if you have a project with a short time frame, then you can rent it from one day up to three months. Or when you want to try out a specific product, then you can rent it before you buy or subscribe to it. Hey again, where can I meet Weedio team members? Oh, you can meet us at our office in Aarhus, Denmark, or you can run into our UK team member Daniel running around London. Can I use Weedio when I'm under 18? And the short answer is no. There are some legal and liability reasons why that is not possible. But if you can get someone like a parent or a friend to take the responsibility, they can sign up through video, go through the verification process, and you can rent through their profile. If something happens, they are then fully liable for any damages that incurs. And some lenders also reserve the right to not hand over the equipment to people that are not the ones booking. Which locations are you mostly active in? Currently our most active markets are Denmark and the UK, primarily based around London. But we will also do our best to help our members find the gear they need wherever they need it. Hey! Hey! So how can I do more with Weedio? So you can rent, rent out, uh, subscribe and learn with Weedio. Uh, but we are always open to hear more ideas from our members about potential improvements uh, and we are always open to collaboration. We are looking for instructors for our masterclasses and we can always uh, co-create social and written content. What kind of masterclasses do you do? So we produce masterclasses for our Video Academy, which is an educational universe uh, with all kinds of free resources uh, from articles, templates, lots, presets, and the masterclasses. And how can I expand my network using Video? 
So you can expand your network using video um, by renting and meeting creators in unexpected ways. So how did video get started? I used to work as a filmmaker myself. But back then I actually had to say no to a job offer because I couldn't access the needed gear. It was just too expensive. And then I had to write my master thesis and then I decided to write about video to figure out is there an intent for use a concept like this if it existed. And luckily enough, I found out that that's definitely something creators they needed. But back in 2018, I couldn't do that myself. So I reached out to Morten, where together we co-founded Video. And half a year later, Casper, our CTO and technical co-founder, joined the team. And in November 2018, we all quit our jobs. And one month later, we launched Video.